Hey, I'm Katie. Welcome to my apartment yoga. Today we're just doing a very simple 10 minute yoga session just to get your body moving. Feel free to get into comfortable clothes. You don't even need a yoga mat. We're gonna start standing, grabbing onto your elbows back behind you. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. If you can't quite grab your elbows, that's okay. Just grab anything you can back behind. We're just trying to lift the chest up, press the shoulders down. And then feel free to close your eyes. You can direct your attention away from the video and actually bring some focus to your feet. As weird as that may sound, just notice where your weight is falling. For me, I am putting a lot of weight into my heels. Maybe rock the weight forward. You can spread your toes. You can even bring a slight bend into the knees if you need to. We're just trying to stand up tall. Next, we wanna bring some focus and attention to the space right underneath our collarbones. So seeing if you can begin to slow your breath down, take two slow, deep breaths, trying to expand that area right underneath the collarbones. Maybe even holding the inhale at the top for a moment before you exhale completely. I'm just taking that one more time at your own pace. Good, feel free to open your eyes. We're gonna tip everything over to the right. And then taking this top shoulder up and back. You can gaze up towards the ceiling. Taking a big breath in. And then as you exhale, just gazing down, drawing a line with your nose. Taking one more big inhale. And then we'll stand up and we'll try the other side. So just getting a nice big stretch into the side body, drawing this right shoulder back, peeling it back as we gaze up towards the ceiling. Taking a nice huge inhale through the nose, and exhaling, just gazing down, feeling the neck a little. One more big breath in. Good, we'll slowly come back to the center. This time we're going to interlace our hands. Again, I'm gonna turn just so you can see me, like so. For some of us, just getting the hands interlaced and straightening the arms might be a challenge. For others, we can straighten the arms, but we're really trying to focus on the chest pressing forward and open. If this is going well, if this is easy, try to draw the hands away from the lower back without compromising and falling forward. So our body's smart, it's gonna to wanna to do this. When we try to lift the chest as the hands reach back, and then we breathe. Again, focusing right underneath the collarbones, standing tall, head presses up as the feet press into the floor. Nice, delicious deep breaths. Good, we're gonna slowly release out of that. We're gonna flip the palms facing up, elbows bent, opening the arms. This is called bad waiter because you have two bowls of soup in your hand. You're gonna pour them back behind as the elbows kick forward, tipping the hips back as the elbows tip forward. And we'll drop the head over to the right, catching onto the top of the head for a neck stretch. So we try to relax both shoulders down the back as we look for this gentle stretch in the neck. Nice, we'll tilt the head forward, nice and slow, just listening to the neck, making sure you aren't pushing too much. And then we'll slowly tilt the head back, still pressing this left elbow forward. Good, we're gonna keep holding onto the head as we wrap the arm back behind us now. Still slowing the breath down. We're going to use our hands, press the head back to center. And then this might feel a little silly, but we're going to swing both arms. Try not to control it too much, but we're just letting the arms swing from front to back. Feel free to look left and right, just feeling a difference in the two sides of your neck. So let's take that stretch on the other side, coming into bad waiter, palms facing up, arms open. The elbows are kicking forward as we pour this imaginary bowl of soup back behind. So getting external rotation in the shoulders. And we'll tilt the head to the left this time, grabbing onto the head. And checking in with your, I thought I wasn't filming for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> checking in with your posture, making sure we aren't sinking, but we're still standing up tall as we slowly tilt the head forward. Trying to send breath right to the side of the neck where we're stretching. And then we'll tilt the head back, right elbow still kicking forward. We'll keep holding onto the neck as we wrap the arm behind. Especially pressing down the right shoulder. 
We'll take two more full deep breaths, nice and easy. Good, when you're ready, we'll press the head back to center. All right, we're gonna make our way onto our stomach on the floor. We're gonna make our way onto our elbows now. This is called reading pose. Um, my legs are just relaxed back behind me. I'm actually relaxing my stomach, so try not to grip the abdominals, but we want the stomach to relax. The only work we're doing is pressing the shoulders away from the ears. That's all. Really good stretch for the back. Very simple, but it's not very often we get our back into this position. It is a mini back bend. It's really great for the health of your spine. So let's go ahead and walk the elbows over to the right. And same thing. Only work you have to do is just press against the floor. And then of course, breathe. So nice deep breaths. We're feeling the left side of the rib cage really expanding as we breathe in. So if you're curious about anatomy, we are twisting in spinal extension rather than spinal flexion. So we're in a little bit of a back bend. We're gonna twist just a little bit deeper. I'm taking this right hand flat right by your side. And then I'm just pressing to keep twisting, still relaxing the abdominals, still pulling the shoulders away from the ears as we take a huge deep inhale in. Nice relaxed exhale out. Good, we'll come back to the center. And we'll try that twist on the other side. So very simple stuff, but really good for the back especially if you have back issues or if you don't want back issues, just getting on the floor, doing this kind of stuff on the stomach is really beneficial. So we're pressing the elbows into the floor as we twist, making sure you aren't gripping in the inner thighs or the stomach. Just listening to the breath. At any point, feel free to close your eyes. And then we'll take our left hand flat into the floor, close to the body or the rib cage, and we're just pressing and twisting a little bit deeper, still relaxing. Yeah, we'll come back to the center. And I'm just going to bend my knees and let the feet sway side to side. I'm so sorry if my feet look dirty. I was outside barefoot today, chasing around a dog, so I feel a little bit dirty. Good, so just feeling this natural little twist in the back as we let the feet flop side to side. We'll bring the legs back behind. We're gonna take the hands flat close to the rib cage. And we're gonna press the body up into upward facing dog, spreading the hands, pressing the fingertips onto the floor and feeling the chest just pressing open. Taking a deep breath in. And we'll relax all the way down. Good, we're gonna come into a twist, another twist. So I'm gonna take my right arm to the side, my left hand flat. So basically you're just mirroring me and I'm gonna scoot this direction so I don't roll off camera. I'm gonna use this hand, I'm gonna bend left knee and I'm gonna use this hand to help roll yourself over. Now this back leg, if you wanna just watch me first, if you have the flexibility, you're um, gonna grab the foot and the hand together. And a lot of mistake people will take this hand and be like, oh, I can grab that. No, we actually want this back hand to reach the foot. If it's like, oh, no way, can I even get it close? That's fine. You just relax the foot wherever it wants to fall, but we definitely want to relax the head on the floor. And wherever you are, we're trying to press the chest and the hips gently forward. You might also feel a little bit of a shoulder stretch going on. And we try to breathe into this. A nice deep stretch in the back, nice deep twist. Take one more full inhale, and we'll slowly roll back to the center. Shake that out if you need to, and we'll go right to the other side. So I'm just kind of wiggling over. Now it'll be the other arm that's straight out, other hand that's flat onto the floor. It'll be the right knee that bends. And I'm using this hand to help me roll over. Now, if this foot can reach the hand, awesome. If it can't, you don't have to force it. No big deal. It can just fall wherever it wants to fall. But we relax the head down and we try to breathe as we press the chest forward. So ideally, the back foot is reaching back and up. 
But if that feels horrible, you just let it land wherever it wants to land. Pressing the chest forward as we take one more deep breath. Good, we'll roll back to the center, swing those legs one more time, and then we're gonna come into the best yoga pose ever. Just relaxing the head down, and this is gonna be our Shavasana. So thank you guys for joining me in this 10 minute relaxation. This is another really simple, great pose for the back, just relaxing all the way down, so feel free to enjoy it for a few breaths. If you like this video, be sure to save it in your favorite so you can always come back to it. I'll see you guys soon.